<laughs> should be should be a great day. We're gonna do some resin printing, which we haven't done in a while, and I got <laughs> you guys keep asking me to do some resin printing, so today's your day. I've actually had the Mars 3 and the Mercury X curing station for a minute. I used the the wash station for my um, fan showdown and stuff like that to remove the PVA support material, but I haven't had a good project to use these machines for until today. Now, I don't know if you guys watch Paul's Hardware. I do. And uh, normally at the end of the week, he puts out like a news video that talks about tech news and something caught my eye. There was another one of those renders of a project or a product that might come to be a thing. Maybe not, maybe it will, but I've seen a lot of these lately and I've had, I've had a lot of fun with them. You guys remember the, the knock to a desk fan? We looked at a picture that came out a while ago about it. Made one, it turned out pretty good. I like it a lot. Then the, the RTX, 37 knock, 3070 knock to edition. There was a leaked photo of that. We built one out of a 3060 Strix and it actually turned out very, very great. Very great, very good. Oh man, what you trying to say, huh? English. But then, you know, the actual card started getting to reviewers and we were, we were pretty close. This is, I mean, other than missing a little bit of the detail due to we just had a picture to go from, we, we got there. All these, you know, if you want to print these out for yourselves, they're all in my Thingiverse, go for it. But moving back to what today's video is going to be back, uh, I was watching Paul's Hardware, like I said, and the the item or the thing that he was talking about was some DDR5 RAM that was leaked or a render came out that this RAM could be a thing. And it was essentially a stick of RAM that looked, it had a Lego theme to it. And if you dig down into the article, ah, is it really going to be a thing? Is it not? Do they have the license to do it? I don't know, but I took one look at that and I was like, we can make that. And that's what we're gonna try to do today. So we're gonna use this stuff, even some paint. This is Arts and Crafts Day. We're gonna be Bob Ross in it. <laughs> we'll try to make this, well, we're gonna try to make this Antec Katana Ram look like the Ram in the picture. At least as close as we can get to it. And if, we work, if it works, I'll put it out there for you guys to download so you can make your own Lego inspired Ram. Obviously, if you, if you do this, you could break something, so. It's your stuff, if you wanna do it, go ahead, but. Thank you to Lester for sponsoring this video. If you're like me, most of your shopping happens online. However, sometimes it's hard to figure out if you're really getting the best product for your money, and this is where Lester can help. Lester is a free product research assistant that helps you make informed purchasing decisions. Say you're shopping for something like a new monitor, but you don't really know which one to buy. Lester will immediately tell you which ones are the best for your budget so you can be sure you're getting the best bang for your buck. You can actually see why people chose the products they did by checking reviews and ratings from sources that you trust, like Wirecutter, Reddit discussions, and other YouTubers. Lester can even tell you if a product's on sale or compare prices across many retailers like Walmart, Target, or Best Buy. Online shopping is meant to be quick, so save time and money and always get the best products by installing Luster using the link in the description below. It's completely free. More importantly, before we can get into designing what we see in the photo, we need to figure out how exactly, is this not open? Yeah. We need to figure out exactly how this RAM goes together because I honestly haven't taken apart RAM in a long time. I did, a, did have a stick of DDR2 that I took apart. Kind of just fell apart with age, but. I don't know how it works. There's screws in it, so maybe it's screwed together. I'm not sure. We'll have to find out. Oh, it's like a basically a bolt that screws into another bolt. Yeah, interesting. Okay, that does. Okay, like the LED diffuser. I don't see any other screws. Is that just taped on there? Oh, it is. Much more tape. There you go. Got your LEDs up top. There's really not much to it. Now, I know what you're thinking. If we put a plastic heat spreader, essentially that's what that is, or a heat sink, are we gonna, are we gonna have problems? Because I don't actually know how, how hot RAM gets, but I have a way we can find out. You might be thinking, you can't just look at a RAM stick and see heat. And to that I would say, 
you can. I bought a FLIR. I, I've actually really wanted to buy this for quite a long time, so I finally justified it for the channel, man, so we can see all, all that thermal. Look how hot the printer is over there. It's not as hot, evidently, as the, uh, oh, oh my god, it's upside down. Basically, that is the Minecraft server PC I built a while ago in a 3D printing case. Still humming along back there. But we're going to use this camera to see exactly how hot this chip gets or this stick gets and see if we're going to have an issue. Now, I don't think we do because cured resin is, has a pretty high uh, melting point from what, I, from what I can tell, but we got the camera. Let's, let's take a look. So we're going to have to put this stick in the old Dusty Boy PC because I keep it on the floor. <laughs> I don't use it very often, but I am a degenerate, so I do apologize. Get, oh my, just. Also, I better hope that this RAM stick still works. So right now the PC's off, so it is whatever room temperature is right now. I'll turn it on, let it idle, and see kind of what it wants to level out as. So it seems to be kind of hanging out around 24, 24 and a half. So let's start a RAM stress test and see if we can see those chips start to light up. So the stress test has been running for about six, seven minutes. It looks like we're gonna stabilize right around just under 32 degrees Celsius, which is actually pretty good. I thought it would be uh, a little warmer than that. So I think we should be good. We just now need to take that picture and make it something real. I think it turned out pretty good. Now, out of the two colors that were shown in the renders that leaked, there was a blue version and a red version, and I chose to make the blue only because it was easier to find blue that matched the pictures than it was red at my store. And I used, uh, these are both satin paints. This is Oasis Blue and this is French Blue, if you're curious and you want to make this. And for the size of the, the ram stick, what I did was I counted the blocks across and down and then kind of estimated how big I thought they were. I landed on nine by nine and then I just drew the blocks as they were shown and that, that's how I got the dimensions that I ended up with. I did have one oversight, I do believe. This G-Skill Trident Z is about, you know, almost nine mils thick, where my stick that I have here is quite a bit bigger than that. So if you wanted to run four sticks, like a fully populated motherboard, you'd have issues with this specific model fitting that many sticks in there. If you're only gonna run two in like dual channel, you'd be fine. But uh, yeah, a little too thick. Now I did take the model and I, I, you know, I made them a little thinner. So if you want to download these from my Thingiverse account, it will be thinner than this one. So it might be able to populate four, but you can also just modify those or do whatever you want with them. Add your logo, change the color, change how it looks, do whatever you want. The best part I think though, is since I use clear resin, the block on top, which is based on the dimensions you find for Lego block online, the RGB on the existing, you know, Antec RAM stick shines through like perfectly exactly how I was hoping it would and it looks actually in my opinion really cool and if you're a Lego fan this might be something you want so go over to my Thingiverse account download it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you see any other mystery tech items that happen to le leak or like a render gets leaked make sure to tweet them at me and we'll see if it's something we can make it's always fun till next time